details of this undertaking was later granted out of the results show an anniversary trend, that is, the Vera Code was ratified by the people. The Vera President, Miguel Descanel, celebrated Monday the first results in favor of the Family Code after the public referendum held on Sunday and the participation of more than 5,800,000 voters. The head of state also mentioned the passage of Hurricane Ian, organized and intensified during this early morning, and the fourth phenomenon of this type in the current hurricane season all formed in September. Yes, Canel described this week as challenging due to the meteorological situation. He recommended the maximum protection of human rights in the face of the possible strengthening of the hurricane in the next 12 to 24 hours and its proximity to the west of the Caribbean nation. Even Vice President Salvador Valdez Mesa described Friday as a historic day for the country on the occasion of the referendum process on the family code. After casting his vote at Palm Station No. 1 in the capital's Playa Municipality, Valdez Mesa remarked that for the first time in the nation's constitutional history, law is being submitted to a popular referendum. According to experts with the stuff, Cuba became one of the few countries that have developed such an institution of direct democracy. In declarations with the press, the Cuban vice president found that this little home is modern and inclusive and complies with not just concepts of it all and for the good of all, since it says no to discrimination and to everything that may affect people's individuality. He has found that it also reflects what was expressed by the historic author of the Cuban Revolution, Fidel Castro, regarding the need to change everything that must be changed to consolidate the Cuban project, and the conviction of our general Raul Castro that diversity is possible with unity. He added that this is a profoundly revolutionary code preceded by a broad process of debates among the population, which establishes, as a rule, the rights of all and professes affection and love. More than 8,400,000 Cubans were summoned to the polls to participate in the popular referendum on the new family code after its approval by the National Assembly People's Power in July. The Europe for Cuba Channel held a popular referendum in the Graven Island on the new family code, which it considered an inclusive text improved by the population itself. In a new Sunday broadcast, the sold out platform, which is about to celebrate its second anniversary on YouTube, described as a special day the one the Cuban people lived, where nearly 8 million Cubans were summoned to the polls to take a stand on the new regulations. The moderators of the channel, Jose Antonio Toledo and Patricia Perez, highlighted the process the document went through and the popular participation in it, enriching it with their own contribution. The program had as a guest the Cuban ambassador to Serbia, Gustavo Trista, who said that the code of families is a very modern and inclusive proposal. He stressed that it covers the rights of all people and guarantees the recognition and respect for the rights of women, men, children, and the elderly. The diplomat expressed his confidence that the text would be approved by the people, despite the media campaigns that aim to discredit it. Cambodian Prime Minister Sandek Teko Hun Sen highlighted his affectionate ties with the historic leader of the Cuban Revolution, Fidel Castro. According to Prensa Latina, he said he was pleased to return to Cuba after his first visit in 1999 when he received the Jose Marti order from Fidel himself and later, in 2000, to attend the South-South Summit. Sandek Teko Hun Sen strived that his current presence in the country